Hello guys, it's Gabriel here from Visual Cube and welcome in my first tutorial. So in this first tutorial, we are gonna start doing a 3D modeling or 3D game design. So this is gonna be a long, long serial for 3D modeling or 3D game design. So support me on this journey by clicking the subscribe button. And yeah, so let's start doing things. So we're here in Blender as you can see. So the first thing what we need to do here before we start doing things in Blender is to go and download Blender. So go here on Google and type Blender and the first thing that is popped up here is the Blender website. As you can see here we have download Blender and just click here on download Blender and we are here on Blender website and we have this icon over here which said or this button over here which said download Blender 2.80 and just click there and wait a couple of minutes to download. When you download it, install it, and we can start doing things in Blender. When you install Blender, open up Blender, and the first thing you see here is this window, and this window is called Splash Screen. On this Splash Screen, we have a couple of options. We have new file, recent files, open, recovery, last session, and a bunch of things there. Okay, so recent files are files which are created before or in past and they are collected over here in recent files on new file we have a couple of options and basically uh, this option is creating a workspace in which you are going to work so for example if you want to work with wefx you can go here and select this wefx and blender is automatically uh, going to create for you a wefx workspace so as you can see we already have that workspace created and we are gonna go and close this splash screen. So we're gonna close it by clicking somewhere around here on this 3D space behind this splash screen. And this splash screen is gonna automatically disappear. If you want that splash screen back, go here on this white icon, Blender, and click here on splash screen. So as you can see here, we are in this infinite gray, gray space. And this infinite gray space is called 3D space. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to move through this space. Okay, so the first, so the first thing here, as you can see, is rotation. So how you can rotate around this cube over here, as you can see. So you can do that by going here on this gizmo, and by clicking with your left mouse and going around like this, or you can just simply go somewhere around here with your mouse and click a middle mouse and move it around. You can also zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel or you can go here on this magnifier icon and zoom in and zoom out. Also we can move with a shift key and a clicking a middle mouse and we can move left and right up and down like this or you can go here on this icon move the view and go go around like this okay also we can change a perspective view of this 3d space so we can do that by going here on this icon over here and we can create the orthographic view or perspective view and also we have this camera icon over here so that means that if you already created camera in your 3d space you can you can go in camera so you can click here or you can go uh, on your numpad on your keyboard click zero and you can switch in camera view for example if i delete this camera and if i click zero or this icon we can't go uh, in that camera view we can also go here in top view we can also go here in front view and side view and if you want to release that just click your middle mouse somewhere around here in this gray space and move like this also we have these uh, four options up here and these four options are a view a shading view of our model for example if i click over here in this first option this first option is a wireframe of our model and if i click this um this option over here beside this wireframe option this is the transparent or transparency of our 3D object or 3D model. So I'm gonna turn on this again and we can see this is transparent. Also, this is a solid view, so solid color view. This is the dev mode 
On this dev mode, we have a couple of options and this is the real time render view. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. So if you want more videos like this, please click that subscribe button, share this video, click like button, and that is it. Kabir here from Visual Cube and see you in the next video.